Now, Scotland's First Minister, Hamza Youssef, has told Sky News that things have to change in his party as a scandal engulfs the SNP. He was speaking on his way into the Scottish Parliament for his first Prime Minister's questions, well, for First Minister's questions in Hollywood. He's done one before. Our Scotland correspondent, Conor Gillis, is in Edinburgh for us. And Conor, what did he have to tell you? Because he's now not just First Minister, he's Finance Minister for the SNP as well. Yeah, he is treasurer of the SNP and was attacked during that fiery exchange yet again here at the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh by those opposition politicians saying that he is a First Minister compromised. He is an SNP leader who is bogged down in scandal and uh, is paralysed in terms of moving the country forward. Accusations that, of course, Hamza Yusuf very firmly denies. But let's make no mistake about this. He is in deep crisis. The party is in deep crisis. Uh, yesterday, the treasurer of the SNP, Colin Beatty, resigned uh, after, of course, earlier on this week, being arrested, questioned, detained by detectives for most of the day and then released without charge pending further inquiries. Following high-level talks with the First Minister and the SNP leader, uh, Colin Beatty, took that decision to resign from that post. Well, what happens then? Well, Hamza Youssef has another job to add to his plate. He is now in acting charge of the SNP's finances as treasurer, while the party uh, looks to uh, track down a replacement for Colin Beattie. Let's bring you uh, a few words of what the First Minister had to say in a huddle with us as journalists in the last few minutes. Is it a sign of weakness that you didn't... ...to Parliament, as Douglas Ross asked, and are you facing bankruptcy, as he suggested? We're definitely not facing bankruptcy. I'm pleased to say uh, that we are in a steady footing when it comes to the party's finances. I don't think Parliament is the place to do a statement on the party's finances. But I've, of course, instructed a governance and transparency review, and when the report comes in on that review, I'll make that public. He also uh, was going to ask if you still owe money to Peter Murrow. I think there is money still uh, absolutely outstanding to Peter Murrow in terms of the repayment of the loan. How much? Uh, again, uh, it would be important that uh, I lay that out after the Governance and Transparency uh, Review. I don't think I need to lay out, uh, give a running commentary on the SNP's finances line by line. But uh, let, let's, let, let's let the Governance and Transparency Review do its work. Is that a sign of which? When, when will you get a new treasurer? In the coming days, I hope. Um, is that a sign of weakness? Uh, again, I will need to look into that uh, matter or into that uh, issue, but we do have a party lawyer uh, that is there to represent staff. Uh, Colin Beattie's situation is slightly different, of course. Uh, his issue is that he uh, was a national uh, office bearer until he chose to step back. So I don't think we'd be paying the legal fees uh, for Colin Beattie. Finding an auditor for the party? We don't have an auditor yet, so we're still making progress, still uh, in conversations with a number of auditors. Is it a sign of weakness you didn't sack Colin Beattie yesterday? Colin Beattie and I came to a mutual agreement and he agreed to step back. Uh, he, understood, he understood how difficult it would be for him to continue uh, in that role. So there was no need for me to sack Colin Beattie. He did the right thing because he always has the interests of the party at heart. So there we have it, Hamza Youssef saying the SNP finances are in good shape from the man who yesterday was thrust into the position of having to deal with the treasurer role as well. Discussion in that clip there as well around auditors. Let's remember the SNP has been without auditors since September last year. There is a looming financial deadline when it comes to its uh, accounts. It has to submit fully independently audited accounts by July to the Electoral Commission and that deadline is looming very, very fast. Let's hear what some of the other opposition politicians said in the chamber a short while ago, including Anna Sarwar from Scottish Labour. On Tuesday, Hamza Yusuf tried to convince the country that he represented a fresh start. 16 years of command and control, financial mismanagement and a complete lack of transparency. This isn't just how they governed their party, it's how they govern the country. Peter Murrell, the former chief executive of the SNP, who was also arrested, released without charge a number of weeks ago. He has been spotted outside the home that he shares with his wife, Nicola Sturgeon, this morning, the first time since that arrest. A reminder that this live police investigation continues. Connor, thank you very much.